Hello everyone and welcome back to my videos. This is a question and answers video and this question is coming from my private membership community, Bloom Sisters, where I help mentor moms. I make exclusive videos for them there. And this question was so important that I thought I needed to film it so that more and more people could see it. And so it is such an important question about the significance of the role of a mother, the role of a father, and the family unit. And so I'm gonna go ahead and read her question so that you can kind of see. And I'm going to paraphrase it to make it a little bit shorter because it is really long. So this is a mom that, um, she's only been a stay-at-home mom for about uh, two years. Prior to that, um, she has been the main provider of her home. And it seems like both of her and her husband were working. And whenever they got home, whoever made the meal, made the meal. And there wasn't any role expectations um, when they got married. Um, but it says recently, as of this year, she is a stay-at-home mom. And it is apparent to her that she is expected to make the food. That she's expected to have meals ready for when her husband gets back from work to serve him. Um, that it is expected for her to wash the laundry and put it away in drawers. And it is expected for the kids to be well behaved and not be loud. Um, and it is expected for her to have her house in order. It is expected for her to take care of the outside of the home, the garden, the trees, and things like that. And she says that her husband feels unsupported by her and that um, he seems upset. She also said that this friction, there's friction between them and she, she feels that if things don't change, divorce is imminent. Um, and this is a good point. So she says that she was raised by a single mother and her, her, her mom taught her that a woman can do anything a man can do and to not depend on men um, for finances, right? So it, it is, this is, this is a very important to understand what she was taught and how she was raised. She also says that her husband's family is from a certain nationality that believes that women should serve their husbands. She says that her husband is up by 5 a.m. At 5.30 a.m. he's out the door. So he's working 12 hour shifts. He gets back around 4 p.m. When he gets back, he's either eating or working on a home project. He's working on, it says, a tree house that he's working on, a gardening project, anything that needs to be done in the house, he's working on, right? Um, and it says that most of the time, she doesn't get to be outside because after he gets back, she's cleaning up dinner. And then after that, she's putting the kids to bed. All right, so this is the scenario, and now she's wanting advice. So let's talk about it. So the first thing is, um, being a stay-at-home mom, especially the first year, it's hard. It, it is a hard job. I remember when I first came home from work, I had my first baby. And when I had my first baby, I just knew that it was my responsibility and my role to raise my baby myself. And I came home, it was, it was not only isolating, but it was hard. And I, and I thought to myself, I've never worked so hard than, I've, than I work here at home. Never worked so hard in an office or behind a cubicle than what I work at home. It is a very hard job and it is not for the faint at heart. And I think the root of the problem is the lack of understanding of the roles. And then once you understand the roles, then you understand where you fit in um, in the family unit. So let's break that down a little bit. So she says that she was raised that a woman can do anything a man can do and not to depend on a man. Um, it's been a major shift to depend on her husband for finances. So you see this very idea that a woman can do anything a man can do and that she should not be depending on her husband it is a very detrimental idea and it, and it stems from feminism this idea that a woman can do anything a man can do a woman doesn't need a man and shouldn't need a man and it is detrimental to the family unit because marriage is reliance and we rely on each other the husband relies on the wife and the wife relies on the husband and here comes this beautiful reliance, beautiful support of each other to raise their family. And so when you have this idea, it, it really creates this separation between a man and a woman, between a wife and a husband. 
And it is really important to understand the role of a mother and the role of a wife. Um, because the role of a mother is to raise her family, to raise her kids. And I remember when I, you know, was married, I first was married, I was working, I was out there working my career. And um, when I had my baby, I just knew that it was me. I needed to do this. I needed to raise my baby. I needed to be at home with my family. And my presence was needed there at that moment. And I gave up my career for that purpose. And I came home. And that meant that I was going to rely on my husband, but that we were gonna work together as a beautiful family to work together to raise our kids, right? So you rely on your husband to be the breadwinner and with everything that he provides, you're able to do everything that you do and you're able to um, cook healthy meals from your family and if you're a homeschool mom, you're able to buy all that awesome curriculum and you're able to have this privilege. Let's talk about privilege now because it is a privilege to be a stay-at-home mom. Not everyone can do it. You know, there are single moms out there that have to go work. There are um, people that they need both uh, parents working to be able to sustain themselves. We're living in a very uh, hard society where things are very expensive depending on where you live in this country. Um, and so just the fact that you are at home with your children, it's a privilege. It is a privilege to make a warm meal for your husband when he comes back from work. It is a privilege to wash your family's laundry and put it into the drawers so that your family can wear clean clothing. It is a privilege to be at home taking care of your children and not send them off to daycare. I hear such horror stories about daycare and nannies that I am so grateful that I am the one that takes care of my children and it is a privilege and I wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for my husband. I would not be able to do that. And so it's really important to honor one's role, right? Because I am a firm believer that it is necessary for a mother to be home. You know, women, when they get married, they may be working in a job, they may be working in their careers. But when you have a baby, everything changes. Your role changes now. It is not about, you know, chasing that career anymore. It's about bringing up this baby. And at least it should be. And, and again, not everyone has that privilege. And I admire those working moms that have to go work and then come home to do other things that need to be done afterwards. It's really admirable. Um, but the role of a mother, you know, that is how you raise healthy, strong children, by being that warm presence in your home. You're cooking nutritious meals for your family. You're caring for your children. You're molding their behavior. You're raising them up, learning about the Lord. And it is such a beautiful thing to have a mom at home. And it is truly a privilege. Now let's talk about how is it that these roles, you know, become confused you know in our society because there's like this victim mentality where like that stems from feminism that women they are overworked they're overburdened and they do too much and the idea that you have to split everything down the middle and if i did this you have to do that and and it becomes a really big mess but let's think about the animal kingdom the lion, right? The lion and the lioness. So the role of the mom lioness is to hunt, to take care of her cubs, and to feed her family. The lion, though, the lion is there to defend his pride. He has to face death if any other lion or pride comes into his territory or tries to attack. Uh, a lioness, though, she is made slender, she's fast, so she is really good at hunting. And the lion, he's made bigger and stronger. And he's able to fight for his pride. 
And just think about like, if they would reverse their roles, what would happen? A lioness could not defend her pride like the lion can. A lion could not hunt like a lioness can. He is not fast like she is. He is not slender like she is. And he cannot take care of the cubs like she can. But his role is crucial for the survival of his pride. And it is to protect his pride. So when she goes out hunting, he's watching over her. He's watching over the cubs. And that is how it works. And it works beautiful in the animal kingdom. Even if you look at an ant colony, you have the queen ant who's there to lay the eggs. And then you have the worker ants who work and they have a little nursery to take care of the eggs and the babies. And um, they bring in the food, they find food, they work really hard. And then you have the male, the drones, right? And their sole purpose is to uh, inseminate the queen ant. And then, you know, shortly after that, he dies. But it works beautifully, the way it works together. And if, let's say the queen ant says, you know what, I'm tired of laying eggs. I don't want to do this anymore. And she gets into this victim mentality where she's like, you know what, I don't want to lay eggs anymore because I shouldn't be doing this. This is not fair. Could you imagine? Like, ant colonies would not exist. But this, doesn't, this is not something that happens in the animal kingdom. They honor their roles. They... They honor their roles until their very death. And it, works, and it works for the survival of their species. And I think about human beings now. How we also have unique roles that are ingrained in us. Like how women, they are made to be empathetic, to be caring and loving, and to have this resilience with children. Um, we're, we're just made for that. And you have men who are stronger and who can do things uh, with their bodies that a woman cannot do as well as a man can do. So there is, there is intelligence in our design and we are to honor that. And when we do honor that, we raise happy, healthy, strong families. And when we don't, the family unit starts to fall apart. And then there's the single moms that they have to go to work. They can't be at home. And there's the moms that choose to, you know, follow their careers. And when they have their babies, they, they put their babies in daycare, either because they have to work or because they choose to work. There are women that really want to pursue their careers over bringing up their children. And um, that doesn't go without consequence. It does not go without consequence. Um, there is a consequence when you have a missing mother from the home. The mother is the center of the home and no one can do her job the way she can. Not a grandparent, not a nanny. No one can do it the way she could do it if she's really living out her role with love. And I wanted to make this video because I really think that society is falling apart because of these role reversals you know you have a woman that wants to do what a man does and you have a man who's trying his best to do all the things at home but he is just not able to and you know it, it really does affect the family unit and this whole idea of the victimhood of the victim of the martyr mother who's at home suffering is something that really needs to end because we need to be in gratitude just the simple fact that we have running water and electricity. We should be in awe on our, on our knees every day just thanking the Lord that we have that. And then the, the privilege that we have to be at home and to serve our children and to serve our husbands. You know, I am so in awe that I get to serve my children and that I get to serve my husband. But my husband also serves me. He serves me. So it is mutual, mutual servitude. There is no victim here in the family unit. When everyone is fulfilling their role, it works so beautiful the way that God designed it. And uh, I just wanted to make this video to bring awareness. And I pray that all mothers that are at home, that they're able to be in awe 
to be in awe of their privilege, to be in awe of their role. What a beautiful role that you have. You get to raise the next generation. And when you change your views from victim to gratitude, it is, it, your heart will just want to come out of your chest because you will be so, so happy that you get to do this. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. This was just a short one, hopefully. Uh, it didn't take too long. Um, so if you want to join us on the Bloom Sister community, I love mentoring moms on there. It is just a privilege to me to be able to do that. And I make exclusive videos there for the moms. This month of November, I'm teaching the moms how to make fresh milk bread from scratch, how to grind their wheat berries, and how to bake bread from scratch. And I am loving working with these set of ladies. We are learning so much together. There is a forum app where we get to interact with each other, to give each other advice and counsel. And there are so many wise moms on there um, that I absolutely love. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I hope that if you are a mom watching that you are encouraged today because you have a beautiful role. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.